Hi there, it's Dr. Karen Leggett, the Women's Midlife Specialist. As I have shared with you before, your hormones interact with your immune system. And when well-balanced, your hormones boost your body's natural immune fighting capabilities. Today, though, I won't be talking about hormones. Instead, I will be showing you how I prepare myself for travel so that I can prevent catching a virus or bacteria during my trip. You can put these same techniques into your travel plans as well. When we travel, there are several reasons we are at increased risk of catching a bug. We are exposed to new people and new locations and thus new bugs. We may be less rested, eat on the run, or eat a bit differently. Our bowels, an important organ for immune function, may get off their normal schedule. I'm preparing now for two trips back to back, starting in just a couple of days, so I've gotten my immune boosting kit out in preparation and would like to share it with you. It is so simple, but extremely effective. The only time I have ever gotten sick on a trip was when I neglected to take my own advice. There are only three powerful little secret ingredients in my immune boosting travel kit. Used together with my daily regimen, I've got everything I need to travel safely with the confidence that I won't return home with an unwanted visitor. The first product I depend on is Astragalus root. There's so much to share with you about this root. In my stress and adrenal health programs, you will learn about this amazing herb in detail. But for now, know that this Astragalus root is one of the most powerful immune boosting herbs in the world. Only the root is used for medicinal purposes, and it has been used in traditional Chinese medicine for thousands of years. The best way to use astragalus to prevent catching a virus or bacteria during your trip is to plan ahead at least a couple of weeks before your scheduled travel. This will give your immune system time to respond to the herb's effects. As a little side note, Astragalus root is a great way to prevent seasonal colds and flus that are more prevalent during the fall and winter. And astragalus can be taken on a regular basis. And in fact, astragalus is used in higher daily doses to repair the shortening of our telomeres, which we know is the cause of aging. <laughs> but that's a subject for another day. When you purchase astragalus root, make sure you always buy a standardized product that states on the bottle, standardized to 0.4% 4-hydroxy-3-methoxy isoflavone 7. The key to dosing is based on how you intend to take astragalus. If you are taking it as an extract, the dose is 500 milligrams three to four times a day, or 2,000 milligrams per day. This astragalus product is actually a liquid extract in a capsule form, and the bottle recommendations state to take two capsules twice daily, which equals the 2,000 milligrams a day. If you are taking it as a powdered form, you need to double that dose to 1,000 milligrams three to four times a day, or 2,000 milligrams twice daily, for a total of 4,000 per day. And if you're brave and you decide to purchase the raw root and make your own tea, you should use six to 10 grams of dried root in a large mug three times a day. Now this is a little cumbersome when you're traveling, but you can certainly do it this way at home. Okay, let's move on to the second secret product in my immune boosting kit. The second product is simple little old zinc. The effects of zinc on the immune system and its ability to fight off infections has been studied for decades. Zinc plays a central role in the immune system and in fact, people who are deficient in zinc simply get more infections. 
The RDA, or Recommended Dietary Allowance for Zinc, in adults is only 8 to 12 milligrams per day, and conventional medicine recommends not exceeding 40 milligrams per day on a regular basis. Now, we do use higher doses for short periods of time, such as doses of 220 milligrams for wound healing, but for only two to three weeks maximum. Other mineral imbalances can occur if high doses of zinc are taken for long periods of time, so we don't want to do that. I use higher doses of zinc only when traveling or when I feel an illness coming on. Otherwise, I assure my body has adequate zinc through my nutrition and daily supplements. The dose I recommend for zinc when you are traveling or feel something brewing is 50 to 60 milligrams per day. The biggest thing you need to remember with zinc is that you need to take it with food and a reasonable amount of food, not just a quick little bite of food because on an empty stomach, zinc commonly causes nausea. Now, the type of zinc you use is debatable. I will tell you, I have had great su success in myself and many, many patients with zinc gluconate. This one is a Walgreens brand, Finest Nutrition. This one is another product that I use, and it's not expensive either. 10 to $20 a bottle, which is likely going to carry you through six to 12 months, depending on how frequently you travel. There are some doctors who say that using zinc that has multiple forms of zinc used by the body's Krebs cycle is more effective. I don't know that to be true. I have had good success with both plain old zinc gluconate and multiple forms of zinc, and I really don't see a difference. Now let's move on to my third secret ingredient in my immune boosting travel kit. This one might surprise you. It's eucalyptus essential oil. I don't take it by mouth. I use eucalyptus essential oil as an inhalant. By doing this, you really protect your respiratory system, starting with the tissues right inside your nose. Your nose is actually your first defense against viruses and bacteria that are spread throughout the air. Eucalyptus plants have incredible antiviral and antibacterial properties that come through its oils. Eucalyptus plants are highly resistant to both viruses and bacteria. When I'm traveling, I keep a bottle of organic eucalyptus oil with me at all times. I also frequently keep a bottle with me during flu season as well. All you need to do is coat your respiratory passages by taking a few refreshing sniffs of the oil periodically throughout the day. Ah, voila! I have just coated my nasal passages with a natural antiviral and antibacterial repellent. I hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you think there is someone who could benefit from this information, please feel free to send it on and share the love. Now let me ask you to do me a favor. Scroll down to the comment section below and leave me a message. Tell me what you think, or just say hi. Let me know you're here. I'd love to hear from you. I'm Dr. Karen Leggett, and I'm here to empower you with knowledge and confidence so you can make the right decisions for your own health. See you next time.